Good morning, guys. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project at 12.09 p.m. on September 24th, 2017. Bringing you a seismic update. Uh, a lot of you are asking me about what's happening with the draining water off the coast of Brazil and also the Bahama Bank during these last few hurricanes. And if you follow Mr. MVV333, he's got a few videos on this topic. Being a geologist, I can uh, probably glean you some insight on the topic. Now, the draining of the Bahama Banks is different than the draining in Brazil. I'm going to leave links to all this so you can check out the article that came out on the 21st. Uh, but what happened just moments ago is why I'm doing this video, and I'll get to that in a second. So the reason the waters uh, receded in the Bahama Bank is because of the huge storm sucking up the waters in a storm surge bulge. This is true, and that's what happens. If the position of a huge storm is just right south of shallow waters, it has the ability to displace hundreds of cubic kilometers of water. And if it's a shallow bank, like the Bahama Bank, it will drain until the storm passes. And it's, a, it's very similar to tidal bulge or storm surge, but in a different way. The actual cyclonic action of the storm is what causes it to drain. However, in, on the Brazilian coast here, th these types of anomalies here is happening because of a different reason. And I'm going to take you right to the plate tectonic map, the Nazca plate and the South American plate. The South American plate here has a continental margin that goes to the ocean. So the plate continues all the way into the mid-Atlantic ridge here. Now the Nazca plate has a, been forcing itself under the South American plate, just like this, in a subduction zone. South American plate here, Nazca plate here for some time, which is why we get this volcanic arc system in South America right here along the plate boundary we get huge uh, earthquakes in this area because of the subduction activity now if we go to the latest earthquakes today i'm going to show you this quake right here inland in argentina popping off at 4.3 down at 261.5 kilometers that is hella deep folks it's real low here and what that does is it causes massive amounts of pressure here on the lithosphere which causes the lithosphere inland to bulge somewhere. So what I'm suggesting is simple, that the plate, the South American plate, is bulging right here in the middle from pressure from Nazca. And we can prove it today because we have deep volcanic activity right along the exact place where the lithospheric flexure is happening. This is where the water is draining, right here in the middle of the plate. You can see the plate margins here. Here's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Here's the Nazca South American plate boundary. The Nazca plate is going under, causing deep volcanic or deep earthquakes here, where we have evidence today, which is causing the lith lithosphere to rise here. This is called isostasy or lithospheric rebound or flexure, where it can either go up or down. It happens when large ice sheets melt, the ground rises. But in this case, we have the Nazca plate right here on the diagram, the Nazca plate sliding under the South American plate, just like this, causing pressure and deep earthquakes. We just had a 4.3 at 261 kilometers. That's translating as lithospheric flexure on the coast right here, directly across. It's translative and it's draining these areas because the, the ground is actually rising. Now that's a quick geology lesson. There's two different things happening ironically around the same time but they're unrelated while also related because during grand solar minimums there is correlation between increased cosmic rays and then increased volcanism and earthquakes large earthquakes happen at low sunspot numbers and we are at the lowest sunspot number in over 100 years currently and we're seeing the results live and that's why i wanted to document this because we're seeing increased subduction action on the plate margins we have proof of it through this latest deep earthquake, which is directly related to the draining of the ocean. I hope that brought you some insight. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, guys, please subscribe to the channel and share this with like-minded people who have questions and want answers. Be safe, everyone.